Wix dropshipping tutorial, how to start dropshipping on Wix in 2023. Hi everyone, welcome back to another video. I hope you all are doing great and are having an amazing day. So I bring you back with yet another great tutorial. And in this tutorial, we're gonna be discussing how you can start off dropshipping and make some money by using one of the top leading e-commerce websites out there, which is Wix. So we're gonna be talking about every aspect and every feature. So just stay along and and uh, watch till the end. Now, first of all, what you're gonna do is obviously you're gonna go to Wix.com. Now, if you don't know what Wix.com is, most of you probably do know because of, there have been tons and tons of ads of Wix, maybe on YouTube or maybe on Google, maybe on your Amazon and tons of places. But still, if you don't know, Wix is basically a website creator and you can basically create a website, have your own domain, and obviously get your website monetized. And then from there on out, you can also make stores as we are going to be making a dropshipping store and much, much more. So Wix is your blank canvas to create any type of website or store or blog you want. So we're gonna be discussing it in great depth. Now, first of all, let's get you familiarized. We can obviously create a website without limits as we can see, and this is one of the few or one of the almost gazillion designs that Wix has. And then if you were to go down one platform, infinite possibilities like unlimited creation, powerful infrastructures, place for growth, and much, much more. So to get ourselves started with Wix, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go and click on get started in the top right, obviously. Now, once you click on the top right, what it's gonna do is it's gonna bring you to its whole hefty signup process. So what you're gonna do is obviously you're gonna put in your email and make sure to confirm your email correctly. And once you've corrected that, make sure to make a strong password because obviously it's an e-commerce site and these are like, if they get hacked, then it could give you a hefty blow to your finances. So just make sure to have a good secure password and everything. And once you've done that, what it's gonna do is it's gonna take you to the introduction section where it's gonna ask you some MCQs or multiple choice questions according to which it's gonna optimize your website. So over here it says, Lex, bring your ideas to life. Answer some questions to get the best tools for whatever you're creating. So if you're creating this website for some client, you can go over here, but I wouldn't recommend this. Just go on Get Started if you're like a solopreneur watching this video for tips. Click on get started and once you do that over here it asks you what kind of website are you creating so obviously we're creating an online store for drop shipping so we're just going to click on that and it could be an online store for drop shipping so you could just write that like drop shipping online store as you can see right there or if you don't want that you can just keep it on online store totally upon you but we're going to go with drop shipping online store and we're going to click on next now, once you click on next over here, you're gonna see what you like to call your website. Now, do know that you can change it anytime you want. It's your website and obviously you have full control. So don't worry, you can change it anytime you want. Right now, you can keep anything random. Like, uh, I'm just gonna keep this gibberish right now. It doesn't really matter because I can change it later. So I'm just gonna click on next. And once you click on next over here, it says, what are your goals for this certain website? So here, obviously, you're gonna start telling them your goals. Now, it could be, obviously, mainly, it's gonna be drop shipping. So for that, you're just gonna go on sell products. But if you have anything else to do, you can just choose one of these if you want to and click on next. Now, once you click on next, what's gonna happen is it's gonna load you up into this page. Now, this is where you're gonna set the elements and widgets that are gonna be in your website. So to make sure that you choose the correct widgets for your website, Obviously, you're gonna choose the online store widget. You're gonna choose the chat widget, for example, if someone wants to, you know, fill in, let's say, some form by a site visitor. So you can have a chat blog, and then obviously you have all these different blogs like bookings, events, blog, portfolio, music, video, anything you want. So you can keep it there, but I just recommend online store and chat if we're only gonna do a dropshipping store. You can add these things later, though, don't worry. So here we are. And that's it. It says continue setting up your website on your dashboard. So from here on out, you're just gonna click on your dashboard and be redirected to your main dashboard. That's pretty much it. So here you have signed up and created yourself a Wix account. Now obviously, 
from here on out, going further from here, we're gonna start creating our basic online store where we're gonna sell our products. So we're just gonna do right that right now. Now, once you load yourself in the dashboard, what's gonna happen is it's gonna take a few seconds to load you right into the main things. So until it does that for us, you're probably wondering why should you get into dropshipping and why should you use Wix? Because obviously you haven't heard a lot of dropshipping going on with Wix. Mostly dropshipping e-commerce websites are related with let's say Shopify or maybe WordPress. These two are the most popular when it comes to dropshipping. But if you're wondering why Wix, now, first of all, let me do tell you, I would not be making this video if I didn't fully recommend Wix because Wix is amazing when it comes to creation of websites and you know handling your payments, shipping and everything. So let's discuss why Wix for your dropshipping. So here we are in this basic uh, form or forum. We're gonna discuss if Wix is good for your dropshipping. So obviously people have given you the different pros and cons when it comes to the Wix dropshipping, but let's get straight into it. First of all, we can see that they've explained what Wix is. Wix is mainly known for its website building, but they also make it possible to build and run e-commerce stores. And if obviously you're considering Wix for e-commerce, it is nice to be aware of the fact it is also possible to drop ship with Wix, which is obviously the topic of today's video. However, the big question, which you're probably wondering, is how good is Wix for drop shipping? So let's discuss the pros and cons, shall we? Wix and drop shipping. So the pros are that it is amazingly and surprisingly very easy to build a Wix store and connect it with a drop shipping app, which is true because if like I tell you my experience with other dropshipping or other e-commerce apps like uh, maybe Shopify or maybe WordPress or Square. So all these websites, although they do have amazing dropshipping, the one issue with it is that it's a hefty process to link everything and then the whole importing process, it's pretty long and pretty hefty and I just don't recommend getting into a lot of that, although they are amazing, but still, Wix makes it much easier to link or integrate your store with some dropshipping app that you wanna use. So as we can see, Wix is at the time of writing this one of the easiest to use e-commerce platforms, which is true. And connecting one of the dropshipping apps you can find from Wix's app store to your online store can also be really easy. Now, don't worry, we're gonna get into the whole Wix app store and everything. I'm gonna be explaining all of that, so do not worry. So over here we can see Wix is reasonably priced or maybe even cheap. The cheapest Wix plan that we're gonna get into that you can use costs $23. That already is quite cheap, but then in addition to that, Wix is based on this person's personal experience, very active in offering hefty discounts to people. So if we were to discuss about, you know, the pricings and plans for other websites that people have, let's say, you know, Shopify or WooCommerce, now their basic plans, even their most basic plans, are they're very hefty. So when it comes to their e-commerce plans, they're like up to 89 to maybe $120, which is a lot when it comes to, you know, solopreneur working from his or her bedroom. So yeah, that's another good benefit. And then obviously Wix's app store has the best solid dropshipping apps ever. Now, obviously we know the top leading dropshipping app is Printful. Everyone uses Printful. But obviously with Wix, we're gonna be using Modelist because I just find like I've used all three of these with Wix and in my opinion, Modelist works best with Wix. But we know that Printful, Spocket, all these work great. You can use like if you're comfortable with Printful or Spocket, you can use them. It's totally upon you. But in today's tutorial, we're gonna be using Modelist for our dropshipping. So here we can see if you go to the App Store, you'll notice they have far fewer dropshipping apps available than many other e-commerce platforms. However, at least the Modelist, Pocket, and Printful dropshipping apps that you can find from are quite good. Like they're one of the best apps for dropshipping you have. So yeah, we're gonna be getting into all of that. Now, if you were to discuss the cons before getting into this video, you can see that Wix's platform is not as flexible as others. It seems that there is a cost that comes with Wix being so easy to use. And that is that you can, at least not easily, do as much customization of your Wix store as you might want to. There is a lot of coding and everything that's involved in that. So yeah, that's what this user is talking about. 
Now, over here, it says you don't have access to as many quality dropshipping apps on many other platforms. Obviously, we have discussed that these three are one of the best apps when it comes to dropshipping. But obviously, if you're not comfortable with these and you want to use something else, then you don't have a lot of variety when it comes to the dropshipping apps. And then obviously, the final con is that there aren't many guides for using Wix for dropshipping. Like if you look up the content related to Shopify and dropshipping, you will find a pretty much endless and ever growing catalog of free videos and other guides. Now this, I do admit, like before researching upon this video, there weren't a lot of great guides when it comes to Wix, but that is why I'm here for you. I am your guide and I will help you through it all. So the conclusion that this user gave is that if you want to build a really easy dropshipping store, like if you're a beginner and you want to build an easy dropshipping store, then obviously Wix is a good choice. But if you are serious, you can go with other dropshipping stores like maybe Shopify or WooCommerce. But obviously you're a beginner and you want a good decent startup right now. You don't want to look too great and fancy because obviously to look too great and fancy, you're going to need you know, obviously the e-commerce package for these websites. And for that, you're going to need to have some good, you know, financial backup. So we're going to do that by making a basic store. And then we're going to go into the advanced stores. So here we can see that with all of that, we can come here and see that our basic dashboard has been shown to us when we are to our Wix.com page. Okay, so here you can do quite a lot of things like over here, it's telling you to set up your store, you can update your store type, you can add your first product, set up payment methods and all this whatnot, you can do this later. But right now, let's discuss the prominent things. So first of all, let's discuss the domain. Now it says no domain connect. Now, obviously, to run a successful website, you're going to need a domain. Like, what is the user going to search to come to your website? Obviously, you're going to have to give them a domain. So a domain is your URL, basically. So what domain do you want to connect to your online store? Enter the web address you want for your website. It can be a domain you want to buy or one you have already owned. So you can obviously write anything, uh, make any domain. And once you do that, you can add one of these dot coms or whatever you want. And then you're just going to click on let's go. And if it's available, you can just click on get it. And obviously, from there on out, you're going to buy it. But obviously, to buy a domain, you're obviously going to need a proper plan for yourself. So let me show you the three different plans that come with your Wix website as well. So we're going to be getting into that. Now, these three to four different plans, obviously, you're going to need to buy at least the basic plan to, you know, get paid and everything because you can create your website, design it, add your dropshipping store and everything without the plans. But with the plans, you're going to get your, you know, shipping, delivery, payments and everything. So for that, we're going to come here and we're going to click on compare plans. As you can see right now, we are on the free plan, but we don't want that. We want the proper full fledged plan for our website. So we're going to go to compare plans and we're going to wait for this to load up. Now, here we are. These are the different pricings and plans when it comes to your Wix pricings. So here are your website plans and here are your business and e-commerce plans, because obviously if you want to create a normal website with, you know, just normal stuff, you can just go with these. But obviously we want a proper e-commerce essential for accepting online payments, because obviously we're going to be doing some drop shipping. So these are your drop shipping plans. Here's the business VIP plan, which uh, is on a 50 percent off deal right now. So by the time this video comes out, you can just go ahead and get this because obviously, as you can see, like the business basic plan is $17 per month. But if you get it 50% off right now, you can just get it off of a hefty $17.50 uh, per month. And you can see that you have all these great features like unlimited bandwidth. You have 50 gigabytes of storage space, unlimited video hours, lead capture forms are 150, fields per form are 100 and everything else. So you have all these things in these plans, so you can just get any one of them. All you need to do to get them is just click on select. And once you do that, you're just going to buy them and check out. 
So that's it. That's how you buy a plan. And once you do that, as I told you, you're going to connect a domain for yourself. And finally, once you have connected a domain, you're going to be fully set it up with your Wix account. Now, let's discuss how you're going to design your website and how you're going to integrate a dropshipping app with your website and how you're going to add products. So let's talk about that. Let's go on design site and here it's going to give you how would you like to design your website. Customize a designed template or let Wix create a site for you. Now this is the Wix AI which just automatically creates a website for you by just asking a few questions. If you want to, you know, quickly create your website, you can go with this, but I'd recommend you to customize a design template, like choose from the billion template that Wix provides you and, you know, just choose one of them. And according to that, uh, start your drop shipping. So you can choose what type of store you want. Like it could be an accessory store or one of uh, So I'm going to go ahead with, let's go with this accessory store. So you're going to hover on it and you're going to click on edit. Now, once your template loads up, this is what it's going to look like over here on the left hand side. It's going to say add elements, add section, pages and menu, site design, add apps, my business, media and content manager. So this is your main left hand tab. And this is where you're going to obviously be doing your main edits on your website. Now, this is your template and your website, and you can see it already looks like a great online store. Now you can just use this template, but let's say you don't, you want to change it. Let's say you want to make it look a bit different. You want to change the color scheme. So for that, all you need to do is obviously you're going to have a few sections. This is your header section for your website. And these are different, you know, mid sections and everything. And this is obviously your footer where you're going to have all your FAQ questions, enter your email, whatnots and everything. So yeah, this is your main website. And to, as I said, to change uh, anything, edit anything, you're going to click on it. And once you click on it, you're going to double click on whatever you want to change. And there you go. And over here, you can just go ahead, change your theme, Anton fonts and everything. You can mess around with it. So yeah, that's how you change things. And obviously there's tons and tons of features to go through. And we're going to be going through all of that throughout the video. So do not worry. Now, obviously here you have add elements. Now what add elements is all the essentials of your website, like obviously your text bars with every, you know, different types of fonts, text and everything. Then you have your images element where you can obviously add different images like, you know, this image back in the background in your section page. Then you have different buttons. And there could be themed buttons, text and icons, image buttons, document buttons, iTunes buttons and everything. You can add these. And what these does is basically, let's say I were to add a button over here. What you can do is you can link something to this. So for example, uh, you can link this to a specific page of yours. Let's say I'm going to link this to my about us. And when someone clicks this, like let's say I were to go to preview. Let me show you what's going to happen. So when a user comes and clicks this button, they're going to be redirected. So I'm just going to show you this is your page and everything. Now, when they come to this button and they click it, what's going to happen is look at this. They're going to be redirected to the about us page. So how cool is that? So these are just a few of the features. Then if you go back on add elements, you can see that there's different strips of uh, maybe videos or pictures that you want to add to make your page look better. There's different decoratives like uh, arrows, shapes and whatnots, like basic shapes, arrows, horizontal lines, vertical lines, featured icons and everything. You have all the essentials over here. So just, you know, mess around with it as much as you want. And it's a simple drag and drop. Like you just have to drag it and drop it. And then from there on out, you can obviously set however you want it to look. So yeah, that's basically about it. And then let's go back into add elements, discuss more. You have more decoratives like I showed you. Then obviously comes the boxes. And in these boxes, obviously you can create boxes like this right here. You know, this box you see in front of you, you can create boxes like these and you have tons and tons of different types of boxes that you can create. 
Then comes the gallery, and obviously in the gallery, you have all these different, you know, grid-sized photos, and you can add your own photos in here if you want to as well. And down here, you can see that you can uh, import from your Instagram feed, or you can, you know, make a Wix photo album, or and you can import it over here, and it's pretty great and simple stuff. Then, obviously, down here, as you can see, you have the my menu section where you can add different menus down here so that's also a great feature just add different menus if you want to then if you stay in my menu you can see that you have theme menus as well that you can create for yourself different horizontal menus and obviously these are also in a way they're like buttons once you click on it you're going to be linked or redirected to somewhere so that's how amazing all these features are. Then there's obviously the contact us forms like the one down here, you know, enter your email here or contact us and everything. And they're fully functional. Like a person can easily uh, click on them and, uh, you know, easily contact you. All you need to do is just provide, you know, the contact details of yourself to the Wix people. And if someone were to contact you through these forms, what's going to happen is that email is going to be you know, sent to whatever contact you've provided to the Wix people. Then there's the video and music section. And obviously this is as it says it is. It's like different music and video widgets that you want to add in your page maybe. You know, just like these photos. Maybe you want a background video that's running throughout. Then if you go in interactive, these are different slideshows that people can interact with. Like, you know, they're going to click on the slideshow. It's going to go forward and everything. So that's what interactives are. Then comes the list section. And in these lists, you have repeaters. Like if someone scrolls down, they're going to see these images repeat and everything. And those are what lists are basically. Then if we go in embed code, in embed code, this is what the coding part I was discussing about when I told you that it's a bit difficult to get the exact design you want in Wix because there's coding involved. This is what I meant. Because uh, if you like want a very complex looking design, you're going to need to use HTMLs or uh, CSS and much, much more. So you're going to need to know a bit about coding. Even if you don't, you can just go on the websites and, you know, take off codes from there just for, you know, help purposes. Then you can add different social media handles for yourself. Like as we come down here, here we can see Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest, YouTube, Twitter. All these were added from over here. Like you can see, it's literally these symbols right here. So you can add these social payments. Then these are the pay now buttons that you can add. And obviously this is an essential that we're going to add to our website. So, you know, obviously, so we can get paid for our dropshipping store. And obviously the pay now, all these payment buttons, you can see a lot of these when it comes to online stores. So yeah, this is the payment section. Then there's the content manager where you can manage your content. This is basically an add on. And if you want to add this to your site, it's totally up on you. Then here comes the blog features and those are features that you really don't want. These are the features that you want to look into because these are your store features with, you know, the grid product gallery, which is uh, wait, I'm going to show you by switching the page. I'm going to go to the home page. Let me show you what the product gallery is. So this wait, let me just wait for it to load up the product. Yeah. So this is basically your product gallery and this is what your product gallery is going to look like. So I'm going to go back in elements. So yeah, this is your product gallery. You could have a slider product gallery, like the products slide in front of you. Then there's related products, like there's you know different variant of a similar product, and much much more. And obviously over here you can see related apps, and these are your basic uh, printful and modelist and everything. We're gonna discuss this in a while, but you get what I mean. Then these are bookings. If you wanna add bookings to your online store, I don't know why you would need them, but yeah, you get the point. So those were all the elements that you can add. Then obviously there's different sections for, you know, your welcome section, about section, team section. These are different sections if you just want to, you know, add more information or images to your uh, online store just to, you know, make it look better. This is to add different pages to your online store. This is your site design. Like you can choose your site's theme, change your background color and everything. And, you know, obviously to change your size theme, you can go and customize, you can make it energetic, you can make it look a bit retro if you want to, and, you know, change most of the things if you want to. So it's a cool little uh, tool to use. 
this is the add app section now this is where we're going to be you know obviously adding our drop shipping apps and you don't really only need to use this to add drop shipping apps to your store you can also add you know different types of apps to integrate like let's say if you want to add some type of typewriter to correct your texts maybe or we can see there's a currency converter, the PayPal button, fitness content studio, and much, much more. You have tons and tons of apps that you can integrate. So you don't really need to only use it to add your model as drop shipping. And then obviously down here, you can see the My Business tab. And this is the whole payment and everything for your Wix store that obviously we're going to finish setting up right now. This is your media gallery where you're going to add or upload your thing that you want to import to your store. And then finally, there's the content manager that we just discussed. So yeah, that's basically all there is when it comes to editing and designing your store. Now that we've discussed that, let's get into adding your modelist dropshipping to your Wix store. Now, obviously, as we discussed, to add your apps, all you need to do is you're going to come here where it says add apps. We're going to click on that and we're going to wait for it to open. Now, once it loads up, all you need to do is now Modelist is pretty famous when it comes to Wix. So you're going to see it right here. But for some reason, if you don't, all you need to do is you're going to go on search apps in the top search bar and you're going to write Modelist and you're going to get Modelist over here. And don't worry, you're going to have you can get Printful over here, too. As you can see, Printful is over here. And you can see that Spocket is over here. You can use all of these if you want to, but obviously, as I said, we're gonna be using Modelist because in my opinion, this works best with Wix. So here's Modelist, we're gonna click on it. And once you click on Modelist, what's gonna happen is you're gonna come up here where it says Modelist Dropshipping Add to Site. And you can see it's free to install, so you're just gonna click on Add to Site. And now what's gonna happen is that it's gonna ask you to create a modelist account which we're going to do and then after you're done setting up and creating your modelist account we're going to be integrating it with our wix so let's just wait for everything to load up and then we're going to add modelist to our site now once you choose the modelist page you're going to come up here where it says modelist.co build your own brand with print on demand and drop shipping products all in one place now what you're going to do is you can obviously get yourself familiarized by seeing all their features and everything. And here you can see Modelist integrates with the best e-commerce platforms like Shopify, Wix stores, Big Commerce, and much, much more. You can obviously see their features if you want to, but I'm just gonna get straight into the signing up process. And for that, I'm gonna click on start for free. Now, once I do that, you can continue with your Wix store. Like that just makes the sign up process much easier. So if you just don't want to go through with the, all the heftiness, you can just sign up with your Wix and I'm going to do that right now. So over here, once you've done that, you're going to select the site that you want to publish it with. And obviously this is our site. So we're going to click on select. And once you do that over here, it brings you to the Modelist installer. Now, once it brings you to the Modelist installer, it gets you properly installed, integrated with your Wix. And once that is done over here, it brings you to its main page. Find products to sell on your store. And you can see all these different products. And obviously, this is a lot to take in. Like once you see all of this just explode in front of you, uh, you can find all these things. But do not worry. I'm going to take you through everything step by step. And it's going to be very simple. So just keep watching. Now, one of the first things that you're going to need to do is obviously you're going to finish completing your uh, model list store. And for that, you're going to click on this widget where it's going to say complete your store. And here it says adjust pricing rules. So obviously we're going to need to do that. So you're probably wondering what pricing rules are. Pricing rules are basically what your, uh, you know, the price is the sale price of an item. For example, if your item costs $10 at full retail value and you want to sell it for $5, the price is $5. We have automatically set this to X1.67 to align with the supplier's suggested retail price. I'd say you keep it at a $2. In my opinion, that's much better. So set your pricing rules. And once you've done that, you're going to just choose save, click on save and apply. And once your pricing rules have been saved, you can back out and go to your main dashboard. 
Now, once you reload, let me just reload and it's going to see that I have adjusted my pricing rules. And if it doesn't take that, just go ahead and do it again for them. Now, once you have set up your pricing rules, what you're going to do is you're either going to connect your Alibaba store or you're going to connect your AliExpress store. Now, you're probably wondering, you know, you have both these stores, Alibaba and AliExpress. Like I'm going to take you to both just to show you what both actually look like. So you can go with Alibaba or you can go with AliExpress. But if you were to take my opinion, like from both these stores, I'd just say go with Alibaba because AliExpress, it's just too, you know, congested. And I would just not recommend AliExpress with dropshipping because obviously there's like millions and millions of dropshippers that use AliExpress and it's crowded. So Alibaba is a new take when it comes to dropshipping. So I just recommend doing it on Alibaba and connecting your Alibaba to your model list. So to create an account on your Alibaba, you're just going to click on join for free. It's pretty simple process. Uh, you're going to choose your country and everything. You're going to select your trader role. So you can obviously you're going to be a seller. So once you do that, you're going to add your email. You're going to set in your login password, confirm your password. And once you've done all that, enter a company name. It can be totally random, does not matter, trust me. And then you're going to tell them your proper name. Make sure that you enter your number, phone number and everything. And once you've done all of that, you're going to verify yourself and click on agree and register. So you're just going to fulfill their verification process. It's pretty small and simple. So we're just going to do that real quick. Now, once you have properly verified yourself, what Alibaba is going to do is it's going to log you into your Alibaba store. So here you are. You are a proper Alibaba seller now. Now, all you need to do from here is just connect your Alibaba to your model list. So over here, it says connect with Alibaba and AliExpress. Model list is number one preferred partner for your Alibaba and your AliExpress. Access millions of dropship products that holds pearl prices in your store to one click and much, much more. So... Obviously, we're going to connect our Alibaba and here it says Modelist was handpicked by Alibaba as their number one dropshipping partner. So we're just going to go ahead and connect our account to our Alibaba account. Overseas open authorization. Please authorize the self-service to access your data on Alibaba. Please select the authorization time. You can just choose the maximum. Doesn't really matter. And then click on authorized. Then it says service authorization succeeded and now you're properly authorized. Just remember to agree with the terms and everything. And once you've done all of that, your Alibaba account or your Alibaba store will be properly integrated and connected to your model list. So once we have successfully done that, what's going to happen is, OK, now there's two things that can happen. You can either import products from the model list store itself or you can import them from Alibaba. So to import them from Alibaba, what you can do is you're just going to go and import list and what you're going to do, you can again either find ready to sell products from the model list store or go on import list and click on find print on demand products. Now, if you don't know what print on demand is, print on demand is basically, you know, you can see these shirts and everything and you can get anything printed on them on demand. It's, you know, the basic uh, Gen Z stuff nowadays. So now why we connected Alibaba is because obviously to uh, dropship items on Alibaba, we're going to come here where it says find dropship items on Alibaba. We're going to come to our Alibaba store over here. And once we come over here, what's going to happen is obviously we're just going to make sure to click on start for free and everything. Go ahead with our account. And now we're going to find our Alibaba products. So I'm going to show you importing from the main model list store as well as on Alibaba store. So on Alibaba store, what you're going to do is just go ahead and choose any product. Let's say you like these, you know, fashion boots, or let's say you like these wireless gaming earphones to add them. You're going to click on add to import list. And here it says import completed. And that's it. It's been added to your import list. If we were to go to import list over here, look at that. Here is your product. And if it like gives you errors or anything, you can cut that out.
And once you do that, you can add it to some type of collection of yours, choose its vendor, and you can give it a whole description and everything. And once you have done that, you can choose if it has different variants, you can set its pricing. Now, if the pricing, like if the profit is going lower, you can change the price. Like obviously you, you will give yourself a bit profit, you know? So what you can do is like, let's say I were to change the price. And if I were to change the price for this, we're just going to change it. We're going to go to pricing. And look at that. We have a profit for that much now. So that's basically it. And you can just turn on auto price update. And what that does is it automatically gives you profit on the products that you have. So yeah, now that is how you import products from your Alibaba. And again, now we're going to go ahead and we're going to import our ready to sell products from the model list store. Now, once we're over here, let's say I want to import these headphones. So I'm just going to click on add to import list and I'm going to go back to my import list and look at that. The product has been added. So yeah, that's pretty much it. That's how you import products and that's how easy and simple it is. Now that you're not just going to randomly start adding products to your import list, like that's not how dropshipping works. You're going to need to have a good sense of like what products going to actually work and what products not going to work. You're going to need to have a good sense of that. And what I mean by that is like not every product goes well when it comes to dropshipping. So what you're going to need to do is you're going to use different things like you could use Google Trends. So let's come up here. Let's write Google Trends. Now, if you don't know what Google Trends is, Google Trends is this amazing Google application that you can use to find out what products or what things are being searched mostly on Google or on eBay or on Amazon or whatever. So you can search those products and if those products match the Google Trends and you can see those trends are high, you can just automatically go and drop ship those products from maybe your Alibaba and everything. So now you get the point that it depends on what kind of products you are drop shipping. So like nowadays, I'm pretty sure because obviously, you know, it's the winters and it's pretty cold. So nowadays I can see that there's a lot of, you know, uh, warmer jackets. I think that's what you call them or the heater jacket or whatever. That's what they're calling it nowadays. Yeah, these ones. So outdoor hiking, wholesale body warmer jacket. So a lot of people are buying these and you can see that it's verified and everything. So you can just click on add to import list. And once you add an import list, there we go. It's added again. We're going to go to our import list and we're going to wait for it to load up. It takes a second. So just be sure to uh, bear along with it. So I'm just going to reload the page. And once you do that and everything, make sure you have the correct products. Now, if you do have the correct products, do make sure uh, again, make sure the name isn't too long for there. Yeah, there we go. And then you can uh, choose it to your collections. Like you can just make a collection called store or anything. And then you can give it descriptions if you want to check if it has all the variants, check its pricing, see if you're getting a profit out of it check the media to see if like, you know, there isn't anything wrong with the media and, and everything. Uh, make sure that you're not going in loss in anything. So I'm just going to make sure I'm not going in loss in this product. And once you have done all that, all you're going to need to do now is just choose all these products, select all. And once you do that, you're just going to click on add to store. Now, once you click on add to store, it says selected three products will be added to your store and you will be able to receive orders. So you're just going to click on add to store processing products has finished. Now you're probably wondering where have they gone? So all you're going to need to do is you're going to come up to your Wix. You're going to go to your Wix dashboard and from there on out is where you're going to see the magic. Now, sometimes, you know, need to add more products to your store. So I'm just going to do that. I'm going to add a bit more. So like, because obviously sometimes it might give you errors. So I'm going to add a bit more products. And again, as I said, go to import list, see your products. So if your products are good enough to go mine, I think mine are good enough. So I'm just going to click on that, select all. And then I'm going to click on add to store. Now what that's going to do is it's going to add these products into my store. And there we go. 
Now my products are successfully in my store. I'm just gonna reload my dashboard page and I'm gonna show you where the products actually end up. So we're just gonna wait for my dashboard to load up. Please do bear with me and here we go. So my dashboard has now loaded up and over here, we're gonna go on manage products. Now, once you go and manage products, what's gonna happen is you're gonna see the products that you just imported from your Modelist imported dropship list. And these are products that Wix gave you itself. These two are the products that we just drop shipped. So there we go. So we can see they have 30 variants and this one has 20 variants. And we see that they both are in stock and everything. And once we like what we see, all you need to do is you're gonna add these products to your store. Now you're probably wondering how you're gonna add them to your store and don't worry, please bear with me. I'm gonna teach you everything from A to Z. So as we just discussed, this was our store, right? So first of all, what the main thing is your page layout that we discussed earlier. Your page layout needs to be like a proper store. Like let's say I were to go to a Nike store. Here we are. Here's our Nike store. Let's wait for it to load up. And here we can see this is your basic Nike store, uh, the online Nike store. And we can see this is what it looks like. And they have all these uh, different, you know, widgets and lookouts for how, uh, you know, the products are shown. And this is obviously the product slider that I was talking about. And this is basically how it looks. So you can see the products are displayed like this in a product slider. And this is how everything looks so your store should also look like don't exactly copy this but it should look somewhat like that so as we can see it does look somewhat like that and to even make it better we're gonna add our products that we just drop ship and for that we're just gonna come here where we have the section of our products and we're gonna click on manage products so you're gonna click manage products and we're gonna wait for this window pop-up to open up for us. So this window pop-up will load us up into our main products that we have added or we haven't added. So do make sure that you have the products in your manage product section, here we go. So these are the two products that we wanna add, so just choose them. And once you choose them, what you're gonna do is you're gonna promote the product and then obviously you're gonna export it to your store. So then you're obviously gonna go to import action and from there on out, just import it to your store. Now you can either export it into your page or let's say if you were not seeing your products, it's probably that your page may be overcrowded. So you can just select all the other products and then you can just delete them. That's how basically simple it is. So we're gonna delete those products that we just saw and from there on out when it's deleted, just back out all of this and what we're gonna do is we're gonna reload our store just to, you know, make it rearrange itself. And once we do, let's see what happens. Now, as you can see, our store has loaded up and look at that, the two products that we drop shipped are here and it's fully imported and this is how they're gonna look. Now, you can also edit this layout if you want to, like, let's say uh, you wanna make it look a bit different, you can click on it and then go on choose category. And once you go and choose category, it's gonna give you the grid gallery. So all you need to do is you can add new category. And once you go and add new category, you can add different uh, types of, you know, layouts or widgets or looks that you can choose. And obviously the whole point of making your dropshipping online store is to make your store look more, you know, attractive for the user that's accessing your store. So yeah, just go through all those things and you can mess around with the designs, make your store look better. You can, as I said, mess around with the layouts. You can choose the product display styles if you want to. Uh, like let's say this one where it's like a box and it's gonna have all the things under it or maybe you want it like this where it's not a box and it's gonna have things under it like this. I prefer the box, it looks much better. So we're gonna have it right that. I'm gonna choose the alignment to look like that and you can choose the grid behavior if you want to choose the columns and everything and just mess around with that all you want and over here we can change as you can see the texts for the button so you can choose uh to change it from that to buy now and pre-order button text if there is a pre-order you can change that if you want to 
out of stock message if they are out of stock you can change it to out of stock and everything and once that is done you can change the designs if you want to by you know making them a bit opaque giving them wider borders like let's say you want a bigger border and look at that it's given them wider i'm just gonna make it a bit smaller it doesn't look too attractive and there we go that looks perfect for me you can also give it different filters like show filters from your gallery if you want to show sortings quick views and everything so yeah that's how you basically mess around with that now let's go ahead and discuss how does our product page look now obviously this is your main home page where you're gonna see all of this let's go and talk about the product page so here we are here's our product page and we're just gonna click on that and load ourselves into the product page we're just gonna wait for this to load up real quick now here you can see here is our product page and this is how it looks now again your product page should look very professional like let me give you a Nike example again let's go to a nike store and see how their product page looks and according to that we're gonna see how our product page looks and if it looks decent enough like if it looks like you know it looks professional like a nike product page then we're gonna let it stay or we can you know make color changes or theme changes or design changes so this is how the nike product page looks like you know with all the images and variants and stuff so this is how it looks if we were to see our product page where it is yeah there we go it looks pretty good looks pretty similar and i think it looks nice in my opinion it looks great but you can obviously make different color changes like let's say we're gonna click over here and we're gonna change maybe the color or scroll effects that we can change maybe change the sections background if we want to you know let's uh, give it a more attractive background maybe make it look like that uh, that doesn't look attractive at all. You know what I mean. You can uh, do changes as you go. So yeah, that also depends like how your product page looks and how you design your product page and how the whole layout of your product page looks. Obviously, you can add different things by clicking on add elements and just adding different images or photos or maybe something like that. You can add your variant photos for your jacket that you have right here and you can add much much more there's a whole lot other things to add and then obviously once you've done this what you can do is you can set up the whole uh, maybe info section if you have like you can go over here and you can go to the shop page where all your products are going to be shown like the new arrivals and shop all and everything so here we can see we have our pages in the new arrival and shop all section and uh, obviously you can again change the colors and the designs if you want to for me it looks perfect right now so i'm not going to do anything but yeah you can do whatever you want again by going and add elements or side design and changing whatever you like i have taught you everything and then obviously you're also going to go to your store pages now do remember the main four pages that you want to mess around with are your product page shop page cart page and thank you page so again you're gonna go on shop page uh let me show you what it looks here here's gonna be a section where it says store pages so yeah these are what you're gonna show so when someone adds something to their cart it's gonna be over here showing like the product that they just added the same is gonna show here so yeah if you like what you see i like what i see so i'm gonna go ahead with the thank you page which is obviously the final page to when someone buys your products so obviously this uh, is an important page so do remember to have good edits of this like you know shipping address billing address of the person and you know the whole thank you and everything so make sure that this looks nice and you know gives them a good goodbye so they come back next time so yeah you know presentation mostly matters for your drop shipping and online store pages now another very important thing is leaving your information down below because obviously when you leave your information uh, maybe they want to contact you regarding something maybe they want something custom made from you so you can just leave your information so the customers can access you or message you now you can also add different things to your dropshipping store to you know make them better by going on the app market and over here let's say you can add the VIX reviews up 
And what the Wix Reviews app does is that you can add different comments if you want to. Then obviously you can add the different PayPal button apps, which is the PayPal Stripe payments. If you don't know what Stripe is, Stripe takes your online payments and everything. So you can add that widget to your website as well just to make it look better. You can add different social media icons now. Wix does provide it for your store, but you can just, you know, choose these and these just link your customers to some other social media page of yours. This is basically, obviously you're gonna need to add this and this is because through this is what you're gonna get your payments and everything. So make sure to add the online store app to your thing. You can add the currency converter as well because obviously there could be people, maybe you're selling your products in USD, but there could be people that are maybe from the UK or maybe they're from let's say Russia or maybe they're from uh, the Southeast Asia and they wanna change the currency. So make sure you have a different currency converter on your page. And then obviously there's the different Wix business solution apps like uh, Wix commerce stores, like professional e-commerce platform to sell online. This is obviously for you to make money. Here is Wix bookings. You're only gonna add this when you need like reservations or bookings. So yeah, that's about it. Then there's the Wix chat app. And this is obviously for your customer chats, like uh, your customers reaching out to you 24 seven and everything. Here is the Wix forum where you can create communities on your store and discuss like you wouldn't need that for an online store, but it's totally upon you. But yeah, here, these are different apps that you can add to your store just so you know, you can have a better look and look more professional. But do remember to add a chat box because when you add a chat box, you can get reviews and informations regarding your store. Even if someone like leaves a bad review, take that as like, you know, an advantage because now you can fix that problem in your store. So yeah, basically that's how you can look more professional and improve your store's outlook and improve your e-commerce workings as well. So once your store is fully set it up, you can just click on save. And once you've saved it, you're gonna click on publish. And once you finally click on publish, don't worry. It's not like if you publish it, then you can't edit it anymore. Do not worry, it's nothing like that. You can edit it further on if you want to. But yeah, now that we have published, we're gonna click on done and we're just gonna go ahead. You can also edit the mobile site. I didn't do it because I don't really, it doesn't really matter to me right now, but you get the point. So once your website is published, you're gonna click on view site to see how it looks. And we're just gonna load us up and you can see here is our domain. And this is our website and this is how it looks. Look how cool everything looked like. If we hover over it, look at that. Here are our product changes. We can also take a quick view of our products and look how amazing and cool that is. If we go on shop all, we will be redirected to the shop all page where we have our products displayed in front of us. Then if we go back to our homepage, we can see that we added this button and it's still not removed if we click on it. Look at this, we're gonna be redirected to our About Us page where we have everything over here. And we obviously have all our pages over here like our blog page and we have our stockists page which you can mess around with if you want to here's our contact us information banner here's our type your message and everything you can add that if you want to here's your help uh, section if someone wants to contact us or anything here's your maybe instagram so you know the person can be redirected to your instagram pinterest youtube twitter facebook whatever and then obviously here's your main store menu section so yeah the store looks pretty decent looks pretty good for you know just editing it in under half an hour maybe so yeah uh, if we like go and click on buy now let's see where it takes us let's see what it shows look at that here it says select sites here are the different variants we have here are the different colors you can change the quantity you can also browse through the pictures if you want to like look at that you can change pictures to see how your products really look you can view more details for the products like if you want to see the description and everything obviously we didn't add a description but you can if you want to just to make it look good and once you do that you're gonna like i'm gonna click on buy wait let's see how the lookup page looks you're gonna click on buy now 
and then what it's going to do is it's going to load you to your uh, thank you page because obviously it says we can't accept online orders right now. So obviously that's because we haven't set up any delivery or shipment or anything. But yeah, that's uh, from there on out, it's going to take you to your thank you page. And yeah, that's pretty much it. That's your store fully created. Now, you're probably wondering how to set up, you know, the whole uh, shipment and delivery and the whole payment process. For that, as I told you, you're going to need to have the e-commerce package uh, plan and if you don't have that, then there is no way that you can get, you know, your shipments and delivery. So once you have that, you're going to come up here and you're going to set up your payment methods by going into the settings. Like you're going to come to settings and here it's going to set up your payments. Obviously, you're going to set manual payments. You're going to click on connect. And over here, you can tell your customers how to pay you. And once you've done that, you're just going to click on connect and choose what type of payments you want. Like it could be bank transfers, it could be PayPal, it could be MasterCard, Visa, whatever. And that is how you're going to set payments for yourself. Then comes the shipping and everything. So here's your shipping and fulfillment setting. And over here, obviously, you're going to set the shipping settings. So once this opens up here, we can see shipping and delivery, manage how customers receive their orders, define the delivery options customers choose from at checkout. And you know, you get the point. Now here it says, let's set up your shipping settings together. Our Wix expert Sarah will guide you through setting up your shipping settings in this interactive guide. So you can go through their guide if you want to, or you can just, you know, start setting up your shippings. So for that, there's two types of shippings. There's going to be the domestic shipping, like let's say you're in the US or and you only want US shipping. So that's going to be your domestic. But let's say you want international as well. So you can just come up here and you can set shippings. Now, obviously, the shipping is going to be free as default to, you know, make them into payable because you don't want free. You want some profit to yourself. So you're going to go here and you're going to click on free shipping. And over here, you're going to have obviously there's flat rates, rate by weight, rate by price and everything. So you're just going to go with any type of rate you want. You're going to set up your flat rate shipping option name. You can set anything you want. Estimated delivery time. You can choose whatever delivery time you want. Set your delivery rates. And once you have done that, all you're going to need to do is you're going to click on save. And once you click on save, look at that, you have saved the international shipping. And yeah, that's basically how you're going to set up your payment and shipping to correlate with your online store and much, much more. But obviously do remember if you don't have the e-commerce plan, it will not work. So please do make sure to have the e-commerce plan. And obviously you can just do that by going on manage plans and choosing your plan. And of course you can also change your e-commerce settings by just coming on settings like update store inventory when an order is placed, set a minimum subtotal and everything. You can also, you know, have different checkout policies like terms and conditions, privacy policy, return policy and everything like that. And yeah, that's basically it. So that was it for today's video. That is how you create a Wix store for drop shipping. And yeah, that's pretty much all the features and everything covered. So if you enjoyed today's video, please drop down a like and subscribe to the channel. It helps me out a lot. And if you want to see more videos like this, please let me know down in the comments below and I will make more for you. And if you have any queries or questions as well for this video, please let me know that as well. And I will answer them as soon as I can. But yeah. That's basically all for today. I hope you all keep having a great, fantastic day. That was all from me, and I will see you all next time. Goodbye.